In Venezuela, crime is down. I'm sure you're going to be very happy to hear this. Crime is down in Venezuela by 67 percent because they're taking their gangs and their criminals and depositing them very nicely into the United States. Aren't you happy? Think of it. Who goes down 67 percent? They went down. Look at this man. I call him the wall. He's got the nicest suit. I want to get one of those suits. We built a lot of wall. We had the best numbers ever. We're going to put them up here. I think we're going to put them up pretty soon. You're going to see something that's, that just came out that's incredible. But think of it. Venezuela, which was a lot of... That was an enemy when I left. An enemy, and they were ready to fold. Now they're supplying us with oil. I wouldn't have even thought to buy oil from them. But more importantly, their crime rate is down to 60... It's down by 67%. And the reason is they've taken their gangs and their criminals and they brought them into the United States. Oh, wait till you see next year. They'll be pretty soon, they'll be at no crime. Zero crime in the entire country of Venezuela, the beautiful country of Venezuela. In fact, we'll be going to Venezuela for vacations. Yeah, it's built a lot of it. They're sending prisoners, murderers, drug dealers, mental patients, terrorists. The worst of every country is coming into our country now. They're coming from the Congo, Yemen, Somalia, Syria, all over the world. They're coming there, country changing, country threatening, and their country wrecking. They're destroying our country. They're destroying, you know, we can drill and we can get the oil going. We can get. But this is a tough one. We're going to end up with the largest deportation in American history. We have no choice. Have no choice, right? Have no choice. We have no choice because that's not sustainable by any country. Last week in Grand Rapids, uh, in Grand Rapids, a previously deported illegal alien criminal with multiple prior arrests, many, many arrests, for drunk driving, breaking into houses, and probation violations, was charged with savagely murdering 25-year-old Ruby Garcia. Beautiful, perfect, beautiful, wonderful young girl, shooting her repeatedly with an illegally purchased handgun and dumping her body on the side of a highway to die. Under the Trump administration, we deported this monster. Long ago, we deported him, but under crooked Joe Biden, he was allowed to trespass back into our country and kill beautiful Ruby. Last week, because we had the strongest border and the safest border in the history of our country, and now we have the worst border in the history anywhere in the world, we have the worst border. Last week, another illegal alien criminal was arrested in Alabama for raping a mentally incapacitated 14-year-old girl. And in Chicago recently, an illegal alien gang member who was released into our country by crooked Joe Biden was arrested for a drive-by shooting that left a 27-year-old woman riddled with bullet holes all over her body, she died. I'm here tonight to declare that Joe Biden's border bloodbath, remember they used the name bloodbath, I was talking about something entirely different, but this is a border bloodbath, ends the day I take the oath of office, it ends. With your vote, I will seal the border. I will stop the invasion. I will end the carnage, bloodshed, and killing. And we will crush the human traffickers. You know, they traffic in women, mostly in women. We will vanquish the child smugglers. And we will liberate this nation from Crooked Joe and his migrant armies of dangerous criminals once and for all. This is an invasion of our country. And by the way, hundreds of thousands of people, between the drugs that come in the border and all of the death that's brought into the border in so many different ways. Hundreds of thousands of people are being killed in our country every year. If we had a war with a country like Mexico, we wouldn't lose people like that. This is bigger than a war. Joe Biden is so weak on the border that other countries are now publicly taunting and extorting him by pumping migrants across our wide open border. They're opening their jails and they're opening their mental institutions and they're bringing them right in and nobody stops them. Nobody, nobody has any idea what's going on. Just this week, Mexico's president declared that they will keep the flood of illegal aliens pouring in 
They're going to pour into our country unless Biden hands over $20 billion a year just to sit down. Do you think he'd say that to me? And I know him. He's a friend of mine. He's a nice man. He's a socialist, but you can't have everything, right? right? These young guys can't have everything. At least he's not a communist. He's a socialist. Never got to communism, although who knows? That could be, that could be next. Look, $20 billion a year they want just to sit down, and he wants it fast from U.S. taxpayers, lift sanctions on communist Cuba. That's what he wants to do. So that uh, that's the end of the Miami Cuban vote for crooked Joe Biden. I can tell you that he wants to lift the sanctions on Cuba. I had sanctions in Cuba to a level that they were willing to make a deal at any time. We would have had that election. If that election were a legitimate election, we would have had a deal with Cuba. We wouldn't have had Russia attacking Ukraine and we wouldn't had October. We would not have had October 7th in Israel. I can guarantee you that. But we will do all that we can and grants. Think of this. They want to grant mass amnesty, mass amnesty to millions of illegal aliens all throughout the United States. They want to give a mass amnesty. Other than that, he's doing a great job in immigration, right? This is the worst president in the history of our country. If I was president, no world leader would ever dare to talk to America that way. And they didn't. They had respect for us as a country. They respected me. You know, uh, if you look at Prime Minister Orban of Hungary, he said, the only way you're going to clean up this world is if Trump becomes president again. I said, that's nice. I actually believe that. They asked him, what's going on? He said, you got to have Trump. Get Trump back. You got to get Trump back, he said. He said, he said, China was afraid of, I don't want to use the word afraid, I'm just quoting him, because I like to say they respected me, but you know. He said, China was afraid of him, Russia was afraid of him, North Korea, everybody was afraid of him. The only way you're going to clean it up. I happen to agree with that, though. I think the only way, because this guy, he can't put two sentences together. Biden, he can't find his way off a stage like this. He got stairs all over the place. Secret Service has to come and take him out of off the stage. In this case, we have some very nice people up here. I don't know how the hell they got here, but they're, but they're very nice. And you would help them off the stage. I don't think they would, actually. I really don't. Joe Biden is not respected and Joe Biden is not feared. He does, they don't care about him. The only thing he's good at is cheating on elections and disinformation. Disinformation. You know, if pilots come in, he says, I used to fly planes. If truckers come in, he says, I used to, I used to truck. I used to drive a nice truck. His biggest lie of all, he said, did you ever see him swing a golf club? He's like this. <laughs> he said he was a six handicap. He's not a six handicap. He's not a 36 handicap. Under my leadership, America soon will be respected again, very quickly, respected like never before, respected like never before. Joe Biden's flood of illegal aliens is not just bringing in massive crime, it's also bringing massive costs and massive problems, big problems, problems like we've never had a country like this, honestly. Hey, we've been here a long time. We've loved our country a long time. We've never seen such disrespect. Even the way China talks to us, like we're children, they never talk that way to me. They're not going to talk that way to me. Look no further than the small town of Whitewater, Wisconsin. Does anybody know Whitewater? After being inundated with Biden migrants, this tiny town now has a budget shortfall of over $400,000. Their public schools are straining with hundreds of new migrant students who don't speak a word of English. Their police force is being diverted from traffic stops to migrant crime, our favorite new term, migrant crime. It's a new category of crime. And their town is becoming a hotbed of cartel activity and illicit drugs like nobody's ever even envisioned before. A vote for Trump is a vote to save Wisconsin and it's a vote to save your country. This country is finished if we don't win this election. And I heard somebody say it, a scholar say it, uh, two, three days ago said, if we don't win, this may be the last election our country ever has. And there could be truth to it. That's where we're going. Because Joe Biden is a threat to democracy. He's the threat to democracy. Thank you. Thank you.